Hi everybody, my video. So I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, cookies and cream EOS. So it is not going to be um, edible because I am putting uh, candle wax in here. So it's from a tea light, which is right here, which I already chopped up. So I already chopped that up. I cleaned um, an old EOS. I took the, you know, the chapstick out. So you will need that. Um, this I just got from Walmart. It's just a regular um, pudding, but I'm not gonna add the milk. I'm going to, to try something different. I saw in someone's video that it's something with pudding, but a little bit different. So I'm gonna try it with a whole different kind of setup here. So, and then you're gonna need your um, coconut oil. So it's organic, it's fine. It'll be perfectly fine. So you will be um, needing that. So I'm going to take you over to my stove and show you the rest of okay, the setup. everybody, I am now back and I am now at the stove. So I'm going to add my two tablespoons of the raw coconut oil. So here is one going in now. So that is going in. Now I have the second, the second spoon going in. So all you have to do is wait till that melts until it becomes transparent and then I will get back to you guys and I'll show you the next okay, step. guys, I am back now. So you are going to add the two tablespoons of this now. So there is one and, and here's the second one going right in. So I'm going to mix that. So I'm going to mix that together. And then once this all melts, I'm going to, like I said, then I'm going to add the beeswax. So, I mean the candle wax. Now so that that has melted, I'm going to add my wax now. This was, like I said, from a tea light and it's perfectly fine. You can add that. That's why I said it is not edible. So just make sure you're aware of that. So now I'm going to mix that up, wait for that to melt. And then I'll be back and I'll show you it pouring it into the EOS. Now that I am back and that has finally cooled down a little bit, just be careful when you are doing that and have this in a heat proof thing. Make sure you're very careful because it is hot and wear gloves. So now I'm going to pour some of the texture back, the texture inside there. I might have to chop up some of the Oreo pieces because they do look kind of big and I want them to fit, you know, nicely inside. So I might chop some of them up just because it's gonna be inside, um, you know, a container and it might take up too much space. So I just chopped those up a little bit. I'm going to add it now into the EOS container. Like I said, just be really careful because it will be hot and once it um, molds back in, I will check back with you guys. So I'm going to put my glove on and be very careful here. So here it is. So I am now going to pour it in here. Um, let's see here. So I'm just pouring it into the grate. I wanted to get some Oreo pieces, but let's see if I get some in there. I'll pick some up and put a couple in there. So those will be in there as well now. So that's it guys. I'm going to put the lid back on and then I'll check back with you guys in a few hours and show you what happened. Hi everybody. I am finally back and I wanted to say that it did work out and I'm going to unscrew the top and um, show you it. But um, there is something I did want to say that when you are making this, maybe do a little bit less, um, a little bit less, um, the, oil, the, the raw coconut oil, maybe just use a little bit less of that but other than that um it's really nice um you can definitely feel it on your lips because your lips are really soft now the there's no texture like there you could see it, it looks really cool but when it's on your lips there's no texture so you don't got to worry about no pigmentation if you're not you know you really into that kind of thing and you don't have to worry about it leaving there's no color on your lips so that is really awesome so i'm going to open it and show you it and i couldn't believe it really looks like cookies and cream. Like it actually went down to the bottom and you know, it looks really cool. So I really like that. Um, like I said, there's no really no pigmentation. I mean, I could put it here, but you're not gonna see anything. You know, it's, you know, you can't really see it besides it being smooth. Like I said, it's smooth and it's really nice. 
So I am happy with the results. So I hope you guys liked. Thanks for watching.